6.30. I decided that this morning I wanted to wake up early and go take myself to Malibu so I can watch the sunrise. I'm probably going to bring my journal so I can write a couple prompts. Just simply enjoy the sunrise, honestly. I'm excited. Just waking up, it's such a blessing within itself. The fact that I can drive to Malibu, it's such a beautiful spot to watch sunrise. I'm so grateful for it. And just reflect, write in my journal. I've been creating and building such a great relationship with myself. I want to continue to. I recently have been breaking really bad habits and I'm really proud of myself. I think it's a good time to just reflect on the week. Just refresh. That way I can wake up tomorrow morning on Monday and feel energized, conquer the week. Sundays are my favorite just because of time of reflection and I can reflect on what I've done for the week and what I can do better. Just all around becoming a better human being for me and for the people around me. We don't have to Oh my gosh, this is actually so beautiful. This is so pretty. I'm so happy to be alive. I'm so happy to be alive. Hello. Four in the morning right now. I'm about to drive to Malibu with my friend Q. I'm taking pictures of him for my brand. Best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoop! Drop down. Snap. And then after that. I thought the sunrise was gonna show last time, but unfortunately, it's not. Well, I don't know, because it's like, it's raining, and for some, honestly, I don't know. I never thought to check the weather, I have to check if it was going to rain, but it's fine. I'm just happy to be here. Malibu is so beautiful, guys. Careful. Go a little slow. Just a little slow. <laughs> There's a random ass fucking jet ski out, and I'm just wondering why it's there. Is this sus or not? It must be tied to like a weight. Nah, it looks like it's like just moving. It's my OOTD for today's activity. I have my dad's shoes on with the white socks and I wore a basic black shirt. And then this bracelet's here. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> I'm surfing today. I don't know if this sounds like kind of mean. It's not supposed to come off mean. But I just realized that, you know, doing social media, being that my job is online, I have lots and lots of free time. With that being said, it's very easy to feel like, well, let's say a fucking loser when you have so much free time on your hand. But then again, like, I know that I'm not because like I am still, I'm making a living. Like this is my job. But guys, like with this, you have so much free time. So here I am. I am just taking up the most randomest hobbies. I bought a guitar. I joined a boxing gym, started boxing. Now I just box regularly. And now I'm taking up surfing. Why not? It's fun. It makes me happy. I did it yesterday for the first time. Got my ass kicked a couple times by Mother Nature. Love her. And I'm coming back for more. And I'm determined to ride not one not two but all the waves this is what i'm wearing today you know i got the cowabunga threes on i'm wearing this overall um levi type of ordeal just because this is gonna come off anyways i got this cute bathing suit from actually malibu the other day it was super cute so i like it a lot i like the stripes on it and i feel like the stars just like makes it a vibe I pulled into this parking spot immediately. I turned my head, and there are two gorgeous 
little dogs. Like they're in that truck. Gorgeous dog. Make it your business to go on a mental health walk. Just take yourself out on a nice long walk, meditative long walk, and I'm telling you, you're gonna see something, you're gonna find something that's gonna make you smile on that walk, I promise you. I'm excited! I think my coach is like already out in the water. Hey guys, I'm currently putting on my wetsuit. <laughs> Okay, Victoria, don't do things here. Now I just need help putting it. I always need help zipping it up because it's just like, I feel like my arms don't reach that far. Gotta do what I gotta do. This is it. I will say, surfing is definitely a good form of cardio. I feel like you really can't beat the ocean, honestly. It has so much good energy up towards even though we're in there. Don't forget everything. It's just so clear with Zola. We love that way. We love an efficient, streamlined. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I am about to shoot for the new eternal take drop for raw gear. Fine fucking Lee. I honestly feel like this drop is probably one of my favorite drops that they've ever like like the clothing that they make, it's just so me, and they asked me to shoot for the drop, so here I am, I had to make a little Starbucks stop to get my little like caffeine fix, I'm so excited for this drop. I don't know when the drop is, but you guys already know, code me out to get that money off, and if you wanna support your girl too. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little caffeine fix, my little caffeine addiction. I'm a caffeine addict. Mm. I got a venti matcha latte with a pump of sugar-free vanilla and a pump of brown sugar. Now you may think, what the fuck? Like, why would you be drinking matcha latte with brown sugar? You have to try it, it is so fucking good. I have to be at the destination at 12 and considering how LA traffic works, Ah, uh, this is sick, guys. I'm so excited. Pump for this drop. Yeah, it's so on trend, too. I was trying to look for my keys when I got here and I put my coffee on top of the car and it fell all over me. So, rest in peace to my matcha latte with a pump of brown sugar and sugar free vanilla on top. All right guys, this is the first color of the restock. I paired it with these black boots. I feel like you can just never go with black. And I actually have a red colored boot that can go perfect with this outfit. Hold me out, baby. We just finished the Eternal photo shoot. I'm really stoked and excited, if you guys can't tell. The Eternal drop is this month. I can't give you guys the exact date. When the heat drops, you already know to use Code Me Out. I just posted a fucking story. I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow. Tell me how I take three surfing lessons in Malibu and all of a sudden, I'm going to fucking Hawaii. Why? Why are you going to Hawaii? The surfing culture in Hawaii is it. Me being me and making just like these fucking, I wouldn't say impulsive, just like making these choices, I decided, why not? Why not? My birthday is this month anyways. So... I'm going to Hawaii and I already booked a couple surfing lessons out there and I'm really excited for it. I'm staying at this um, boutique lodge and this is something that I've actually never done because I'm usually, I usually do travel alone and when I do, I book an Airbnb alone and I'm by myself. But this time around, I booked a boutique lodge. I found it on Airbnb. It has a full five stars out of like 50 reviews. So honestly, like, to have five stars and 50 reviews, that's pretty good. I'm going to Hawaii by myself, never been in my life. 
Um, but you know, I'm here for it. I'm here to, for the experience. I'm just following my heart. I want to do things that scare me and excite me at the same time. And booking a last minute trip to Hawaii scares me and excites me at the same time. So I'm super excited and I just can't wait to continue my surfing journey and learning how to surf because it is truly, truly a great experience guys like if I could just explain the feeling I got when I was riding my first wave my first ever wave I rode it I didn't fall or anything and I'm very excited and happy to say that I felt on top of the world it is truly truly I think just something about the ocean it's truly therapeutic and I'm excited to share my experience with you guys honestly so yeah these are my wetsuits so I'm bringing this long sleeve one and the lady told me that when I got this wetsuit this is a good wetsuit to have year-round because of the thickness of it because obviously you guys know during the winter time the water is going to be cold so I got this um, full body wetsuit and actually like it keeps you warm I tried it on and I started sweating like I got really hot and then I also got this really other cute sweatsuit it's like a one piece the back of it it's super cute i got it because i mean it's cute and then i'm just gonna pack a bunch of like swimsuits and um i my go-to is like levi jeans or you know baggy jeans and like a cute like sure i usually just like shop my shirts from like thrift stores and whatnot but i'm packing i'm excited hawaii With the little, oh my gosh, she's cute. I just, I honestly mainly got this because it has like the little balls at the end. Nash wants to play with it. <laughs> Matching, like, look how fucking cute this is. No, Nash, stop. Okay, this is another cute bikini. It's not new, but I got it a while back. Um, This brand, Summer Swim. It's, it's really flattering on the body because it accentuates your waist so much. And then I have a matching like top for it. Super cute, definitely Hawaii vibes, I'd say. Aww. So cute, my baby, my baby. My baby, I love Oh. We made it, guys. We're here in fucking Hawaii. I can't believe it. I've never been here. This was a last minute trip. I literally booked this like on Monday. It is currently Wednesday. And I have my first surfing lesson today at 5 p.m. Oh, all I can really say is that, I mean, the vibes are right. Surf capital of the world. You know what's actually funny? This is, how I, this is why I trust the universe with my whole heart and soul because I booked this area not knowing that it was the surf capital. I booked this area not knowing this was labeled the surfing paradise. I just literally booked it because this specific lodge. Basically, I booked this like space on Airbnb not knowing this was like the surf capital, not knowing this was surfer's paradise. I know I'm so aligned with the universe because what are the odds? I'd have never been to Hawaii. I didn't know Haliwa was surfer's paradise. Literally guys, after I booked the place, I searched up the location of like where I'm staying to like know a little bit about it. And the first thing that pops up on Google is it is surfer's paradise. And I quite frankly just came here to surf and take lessons so I just that's just how I know like I'm aligned like that's little signs like that from the universe it's like I know the universe is really on my side and watching over me and I'm I'm happy to be here shots from up here but Ooh. thank you Kira really Really? Oh my god, I have a camera. Who? Who's Talk to Bernie. Bernie? That's Bernie Buckley. He's the most professional surf photographer in the nation. 
Hey guys, um, so I just got dressed. I'm about to go grab some breakfast out here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a car, so wish me luck. I'm gonna walk, which is fine because I, you know me, I like to get my steps in. Oh yeah. Sorry if that was cringe, but whatever. Guys, we're going to the Botanical Garden. This is my friend Martine from France. And I'm excited, like, we're about to take the bus. I've never took the bus here. Um, we don't have bus passes, so Martine is covering for me. I'm gonna pay her back, but we're just gonna, like, give the guy some cash to see if he'll just let us in. I'm sure he will. I'm excited. This is a bus stop, guys. Isn't this so cute? Oh, hello, kitty bag. It's so cute. <laughs> 30 minutes. The bus comes every 30 minutes, so Martine has Uber. Hers is 40 minutes away. Mine says 22 minutes away, so at this point, it's either... Wait, is this a bus? Yes! Yeah! We got the bus! <laughs> so, good news, bad news. Good news, the bus came. Bad news, we're going the opposite way, so... Uh, yeah. We have to get on. Me and Martine, we finally caught the bus going the right way. And I'm looking at my foot because I went surfing, cut my feet on one of the reefs, the rocks. And I was like inspecting it. I lift up the skin flap and it's a fucking open wound. So me with my health anxiety, I'm like, all right, Martine, here's a game plan. I'm going to Foodland, which I'm here. I'm gonna buy some Band-Aids, peroxide, and then get my caffeine addiction fix, get a nice ice latte because I just need it. All right, let's go find fucking Bandy. All right, we are in route to Wyatt. Bro, I've been, mis I've been mispronouncing every single fucking name, street name, it's so fucking embarrassing. My toes are secured, band-aid secured. I got my band-aid, peroxide is there. You already know I got my caffeine fix for the day, so. Tell me how I like sit here to take a break and Martina's right here. What are the fucking odds? Oh wait, I have to get in the water. So fun. 